Hi. Hello, my friends. Hello, my tribe. Hello, my party ponies. It has been a minute. I have been in a hole. Not a good place to be. But I'm clawing my way out, and I decided to do something I haven't really done in a while and just be, like, really unapologetically me and authentic, and that's going to make some people uncomfortable, and I'm probably going to see some people running away into the woods screaming into pillows, and that's fine. But I've also learned that, like, sometimes we think we're the only one going through something, but we're not. And sometimes you just need to see someone else go first. You just need to see someone else is kind of experiencing something similar. And while we're not going to all hold hands and have some kumbaya moment, I just want you to know that if it has been hard or you're feeling lost or overwhelmed or some kind of feeling that doesn't feel good, you're not alone. And we also get to decide to take a little bit of action today. So that's what my encouragement is for you on this Monday is just to do the next right thing. And if you are like me and like a deep overthinker and you're like, I don't even know what the next right thing is, you're just gonna choose to do something. Maybe it's going for a walk or choosing a new book or pushing play on your workout, like just moving your body some way, somehow eating a vegetable, like all those things are momentum. And so often we think that we have to be motivated or inspired. We have to have all our shit together to rock this journey. But sometimes you do rock the journey and it all falls into place and you feel like a rock star and you're collecting your gold stars and it's just freaking amazing. And other times you're like literally a swamp snail just moving through the mud and like, I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know if I can do this anymore. There's this song. I shared it over on Instagram. It's called Numb Little Bug by Emmy something or other. And it has just like been my theme song lately. It's like, yeah, we're not even gonna talk about it. You can go watch me over on Instagram if you care to hear more about that. But I just wanted to show up here. I know I've been quiet. So if you're still here posting, I really appreciate you. And it just, it's just a reminder that things aren't always linear and they're not always perfect, but that doesn't mean that it's not worth showing up for. So on this Monday, it's a perfect day for you to realign and for you to figure out if what you're doing is in alignment and will serve you or if you need to kind of, you know, reorganize some things, put a couple things back on the shelf, prioritize something different. There's nothing wrong with that. That's part of this journey, right? It's a living, breathing, non-linear thing. And when you treat it like the holistic experience that it is, you allow yourself that space to change your mind and to try something different and to make a pivot as necessary. So make a pivot as necessary. If you need to, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you. You haven't messed up. You're not behind. I know that sometimes we can go into a shame spiral and beat ourselves up. And you can do that. But I'm telling you as someone who's actually been living in that the last two weeks, despite everything I preach, because I'm human too, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. We think sometimes having a pity party and eating all the things and just like, you know, going into a hole will make us feel good. But it really doesn't. It feels so much better to be proactive in your journey and to just do the next right thing, even if it's not perfect, even if it is heavily modified. So like, what do you need to do today that is the next right thing? For me, I had a couple things on my list and I was so tired at just the thought of beginning them. I'm like, I just don't even freaking want to, but I did. I did and it wasn't perfect and I shared my reel and I checked the box and I could be freaking done with it. Hallelujah, praise baby Jesus. And now I can, I can add a deposit into my own journey bank. I've talked about that before, right? We are so quick to debit all the time instead of making deposits. So how can you make a deposit this week? And how can you make a deposit even if it's not perfect without like being mean to yourself? I want you to collect your wins. I want you to highlight them even if it's maybe not as great as it was a month ago or last year. Like who freaking cares? All that matters is that you're here and you're putting one foot in front of the other and you're choosing, you're choosing to do the next right thing, even if it's not perfect. Okay. I think that there's actually more power and more potential momentum that comes from that when you do the next right thing, despite just feeling like you don't have it in you. So wherever you're at today, I hope that you're proud of yourself. I hope that you choose to give yourself a pat on the back. And um, I'm going to get my act together today and I'm going to post a few things. I'm posting a meal plan over here and then over in the BOD group, I'll post like the calendars and all that stuff that um, it's already June, you guys, for a week into June. How did that happen? So I'll be posting all that there. So wherever you're at, if you need anything, I'm catching up on Messenger here in the next like half an hour. So meet me there or feel free to text me. You are never bothering me. And if you have also fallen off your journey like I did, 
it's okay for you to raise your hand and be like, you know what? I'm here and I don't need an explanation. I don't even care. Like you, I don't need a synopsis of the last five months of your life. I just care that you're still here and that you're going to do the next right thing. And you're going to take messy and perfect action. I got a message from one of you this weekend that you, it was the Taylor Swift song, you know, like it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me, but I want to begin again. I want to get back into it. I, I, I want to do this. And I was, it just, it was what I needed. It was what I needed to hear because sometimes I feel like I'm just over here and none of it matters. Like none of it matters. I can't do your journeys for you. I wish I could because you know, a lot of times I'm knocking the rock on that shit and I wish I could give that to you, but I can't, I can't drag you and I can't force you. And as much as I'd like to think that I can convince you that you're epic and amazing and that you're totally worthy and have all the capability of doing this thing, I can't. That's an inside job. That's your job. You have to choose to do the next right thing and to be okay with the imperfection and to trust the journey and trust the process and be in it for the long game, for the long haul. It's not a 21 day, 30 day, oh, I'm quitting again. Like, no, I don't, it's not, there's no quitting, okay? There's just realigning and refocusing and getting back in the game. So get back in the game. If you've been quiet, if you've gone dark, if you have not reply to my messages. I still want to hear from you. I never will ever, ever, ever break up with you. I want you to win. And I want, really, I want you to see your potential and your capacity to win. That's what this is. Okay. It's not a perfectionist game. It's not a look how great my abs look game or how much I've lost. It's a look at how resilient I am. Look at how I choose to continue to show up even when it's imperfect, even when it's taking like as much time as it's going to take um, last time I checked, this is a life journey. Okay. And so we're not going to give ourselves an expiration date and be like, if I don't do it by this time, it's not worth doing. No, that's not what this is. Okay. So on this Monday, do not treat your life or your journey or your body like a Pinterest board because it's none of those things. It's yours and it's epic and it's messy and it's going to suck ass at times, but it's going to totally rock and others. And all of those things together is what makes it so magical and epic and amazing. So I believe in you. I am so happy that you're still here. I hope that you choose to plug in with me and that you just do the next right thing, even if you are like me and in a really tough kind of flat season. You guys, we just have to put one foot in front of the other and just do the next right thing. And the more you do that, the easier it becomes and the more you build your belief and you rebuild those promises to ourselves because sometimes we feel this way because we've broken our promises over and over and that's a sad place to be. But it doesn't have to be your forever. You're capable of changing your story because you were the author. You get to choose how you show up today. You get to choose how you collect your wins. And I think that that is really refreshing at the end of the day that we, no matter what has happened in the past, we get to write today and we get to show up however we want to tomorrow, right? Right.